An exponential function f is defined by f of x equals a times b to the x, where a and b are positive constants. The table gives values of f of x as selected values of x. So whenever we're building ourselves an exponential function, all right, we have a times b to the x. a is going to be your initial value when x equals zero. Why is that? Well, when x equals zero, it doesn't matter what b is, you get one, and so a times one is going to be my guy. So of course, x has got to be zero in this case. Now, when x is zero, I get 40. So 40 is going to be my a. Now, b is basically common ratio. In other words, what you do to get from one term to the next. In this case, the way we get from 40 to 20 to 10 to 5 to 5 over 2 is we divide by 2, or better yet, multiply by a half. So b is going to be 1 half. So we can set up our equation as f of x equals 40 times 1 half to the x power. So a is 40, b is a half, and that gives us b as our answer. So it's exponential decay, and by the way, decay is whenever your b is a number in between 0 and 1, our numbers go down. Growth is if our b is bigger than 1. Uh, and in this case, since b is a half in between 0 and 1, it's exponential decay. So a lot of stuff going on there, but we answered b, and b is our answer because we answered b. And B is our answer. Have a, thanks for watching.